Hi, my name is Tammy. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. So today I just wanted to give you some tips and tricks on things that you guys could do to optimize your Google business page as well as your website. So ideally you want to have more pictures than your competitor does. And we like to geotag our photos. It just gives it that little extra boost for SEO. And then ideally you want to have more than 25 reviews. So one thing you could do is just create a QR code and put it on the back of your business card or create a flyer and just leave that with your, your client, just making it as easy as possible for them to leave you a review. And then you are allowed 750 words of content. So I would go ahead and add just a little bit more content here, and then you can add some keywords in there as well. And then going over to your website, you really do have a very nice looking website. I will say Google doesn't care too much about what your website looks like or the pictures. They mostly care about the content and that's all the words in here that you can read. So the average ad does have about 1500 to 2000 words of content on the homepage alone. It'll make Google look at you like you're an authority. And also the rule of thumb is you can have one keyword per 125, 150 words of content. So adding more content would help you to be able to get more keywords and help you to start ranking even better. Now I'll go over to a paid tool that we use called Ahrefs and I put you up here at the top and I'll just break down the analytics for you. So the power and trust is, the DR is the power and trust that your website gets from Google and it gets that power and trust by the number of relevant backlinks that you have. So you do have 659 backlinks and a backlink is any website that has a link that leads back to yours. You are being found for 1,400 organic keywords and roughly getting around 1,400 people visiting your site each month. So then I did bring up a possible competitor because we always like to compare. So if it's working for them to get them ranked on the first page, it's good enough to get you there too. So I did bring up Guys Roofing. And give me one second just to load their analytics for you. So their DR is at 30. They have 4,800 backlinks. But it is important to keep in mind that not all backlinks are created equal. So you're going to get a lot more power and trust from Google if you do have other relevant companies linking to you versus, say, a roofing company versus McDonald's. They're being found for 1,300 organic keywords and roughly getting around 3,600 people visiting their site each month. So what we do is we can take a really good deep dive and see which words are getting ranked for and if they can work for you on your site with what you do and where, you know, the service areas that you provide it, we could use those on your site. So the keywords are down this column and then we have the search volume over here, how many times one of those keywords is searched per month. So say Charlotte NC Roofers is searched 600 times per month. And the KD is the keyword difficulty or how difficult it is to get one of those keywords ranking. It also tells us the cost per click if you want to run one of these keywords on an ad. So we do go after the keyword difficulty 20 or less just to get you start ranking on the first page. And then once we get you there, then we can go after these more difficult ones that are 20 or above, such as roofing in Charlotte. But you can see there's a really good search volume here, a lot of potential for you to be getting more clients to your website. So I will show you why I did bring up Guy Roofing. Let me go ahead and do Roofing Charlotte, North Carolina again. They were up here in the top three of the Google Map Pack. So this is where your, your backlinks and citations comes into play. And your citations is your business name, address, and phone number listed in various directories all throughout the web like Yelp, Yellow Pages, BBB. So we do build out 200 of them or more. That way you far surpass your competitor and it takes them a while to catch back up to you. And then down here below as well, this is where your website would come into play and all the content that you have in it. So if you do have any questions, please feel free to reach out. The main thing is you just wanna have more content, Mac links and citations than your competitor. And that way you can really optimize everything and get yourself ranking very well. Thank you for watching this, have a great day.